Hey, I'm KIC and welcome to Shadwin. This is a brand new game from Frozenbyte. And I want to say thank you, Frozenbyte, for providing the review key we're using to play this game. What are you doing? Help! Guards! Save your breath. No one is coming to help you. Now, what am I going to do with you? So, here we are. Beginning of the game. This is, um, it's a stealth game, primarily, although you can actually run around and kill stuff, too. It's just you're not going to do it when you're playing as Lily. So here we are. This is the very beginning of the game. We are playing as Lily, and you might notice that right there. If you haven't seen this game before, if you didn't play the demo when it came out, then you might not know. When you don't move, time doesn't do anything. It's a total trip. What's really cool about it is you can do stuff like this, then go, oh, I messed up. Wait a minute. Let me rewind. And you can rewind time. So it's pretty trippy. You can do all sorts of stuff. You can totally royally screw up, and then you just hold down your rewind button and uh, kind of try again, which is actually a pretty cool idea. I mean... There's something to be said for, you know, playing a game perfectly and getting through it all correctly the first time and all of that sort of jazz. But there's also something to be said for being able to just kind of have fun and enjoy the game. And sometimes that means, you know, a little less uh, onerous way of restarting things. So we're just going to keep on going on here. In case you're curious, this is the game played on its maximum settings. There is nothing more that I can turn on or turn higher. This is it. This is uh, everything up as high as it goes. And I got to say, it's a pretty good looking game. It's a dark game, which sometimes can be a little unfortunate because you don't get to see how good it really does look. Granted, I think it looks pretty good. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but... It is kind of dark, so sometimes you just you can't see all the details and things that you otherwise might. In some ways, it reminds me a little bit of playing Assassin's Creed when you're hiding in the haystacks and that sort of thing. But that's pretty much where, uh, well, I'm going to say that's where some of the similarities end, but some of them do continue on. But we will see a little more of that once we get a little further into the game. For right now, we're playing as Lily and we're trying to get to the King's Orchard. It's kind of the King's Orchard Garden. You can see that guard right there is being highlighted for us, so we can see kind of through there. We know there's a guard that way. We can't go that way because the gate is locked. So obviously playing a little bit of a tutorial here, some objects can be pushed. And Lily, despite being pretty small, can push a pretty large crate. So she's tough. Don't underestimate her. You know what? I didn't even try. Let's see. Is there anything down here? Oh. Nope. It's a good place to hide, but there is nothing down there. Good to know. All right, we can distract guards by moving objects. I probably don't need to be sneaking this whole time. I just kind of do it out of habit. Okay, let's see which way he's going to come. He's going to come this way, so that means we can sneak around behind him. And we'll just keep on moving on. And I'm not even going to stop and turn around and see where he is, because I think we're pretty much good. Let's go to this one. I feel like we should be able to... Oh, and that's exactly why... I like being able to do that. <laughs> I don't know which guard saw us. Maybe that one over there. Because this one, he can't see. He's on the other side of that crate. But this guy, he sure can. So we'll just let him keep on walking all drunkenly like. Okay. And then, oh, you are a little too nearby, buddy. We got to let that guy keep going. So I think he's going to be able to see. Okay. Okay. Should be okay now. Just going to go ahead and pop out. We'll go all the way over to this one. That's fine. If I had something else that would make noise or uh, a way to kind of bump into things, I'd go ahead and do that right now, but I don't really have a way to do that. So we'll just let him keep on walking over there, and we'll go to this bush over here. All right. And you know what? Oh, never mind. We're still fine. He... He's kind of suspicious, but we're okay. We're inside the bush. Everything seems to be in order. Everything seems to be in order. Sure does, buddy. Sure does. Keep on going, sir. OK, 
Okay. We should be able to sneak around him. And then we're going to knock into these bottles a bit. There was a noise. Yes, there was. You should come check it out. And then we'll sneak around him. And yeah, I know, like I said, I, I probably don't need to be sneaking. So here, we'll, we'll stop sneaking a little bit. Lily can jump a little bit, not much. I don't think I have the field division turned on. I am playing on what I believe is standard difficulty. This is pretty much where we want to go is over in this area. Problem is we still can't get there. So we still got to go around a little bit. So we are now to use our skills that we've just learned to make it to the chapel garden on our own. So we're going to do that. Move that bottle to distract that guard. Had to have been quite the interesting programming feat to make the game just stop. I mean, every little thing, animations, sounds, all that stuff, it's a total trip. I think we can sneak by. And um, don't wanna go that way. So let's see if we can get in around the corner here before he sees. Yep, someone saw something. I'm not really worried about them right now. Nope, not, not loud enough for you. No? Really? Oh, that guy's, that guy's intrigued. No one else is. That's a shame. Yeah, you just go away, buddy. We don't need you. You are unnecessary. Okay, so that didn't work out well at all. Not at all how I had hoped that to be the case. So we'll just do that. And then we'll just go around this way. And then you will go around that way, which lets me go around this side. That worked out perfectly. Couple guards up there. I see one up on the wall. Let's go walk around this guy in the can go around behind him here. I wonder if we could get up there. Can we can we do that? Cannot. Okay, good to know. It's cool. I hope I didn't get stuck somewhere. Nope. We're good. Where is that guard? I don't know where he's at. Oh, he's coming down right now. We'll let him just come on down. Come on down, good sir. Keep on rolling. Okay, and now we need to get up there in a hurry. I don't want him to turn around and see. And there's a guard right there, so let's go roll this guy out of the way. Okay, and then you want to come inspect. So which way are you going to go? You're going to go that way. All right, it's cool. You go that way. I will go this way. And theoretically, we'll be just fine. Nothing here. Nothing here. You're right, nothing here. And let's go ahead and move another barrel out of the way. We're almost there. We are really close now. Very close. This is where it will get a little trickier though. So let's move that guy around there. You go that way, that's fine. Now we have to get through those two guards right there. They are going to be the trick. Okay. And uh, it's actually looking like it's going to be really easy. Oh, well, that worked out very well. I did not get through that easily the first time I played, let me tell you. Nope. So here we are in the chapel garden. I mean, just take a second to look around. This is pretty cool, right? I mean, it just, it looks cool. We can run around a little bit. We can actually go up there too. You know what, here, just... Uh, well, we won't do that right this second, because we'll have another opportunity momentarily. The whole point of getting to the chapel garden is because there are beautiful, fresh apples under the tree, and they are all ours. And there's no one around, so that's kind of the best kind, right? Fresh apples, no one around. It's the best kind of apple that there is. Let's go grab one. You little thief! What else have you taken? Out with it. Please, sir. It was just an apple. I'm hungry. With sticky fingers like yours, I wouldn't be surprised to find more stolen goods under those petticoats. 
Meanwhile, Shadwin was on her way to murder the king. <laughs> oh, how is that for juxtaposition, right? I mean, seriously. Ah, uh, yeah. So, we've just spent a little time playing as Lily. Innocent little girl. Her mom died. She has no one. She's all alone. She's hungry. And then we switch to playing as Shadwin, who's off to murder the king. Let's go ahead and open up this crate here. And we're going to take all that stuff and found a schematic for a grappling hook. Now, we'll take a look at that in just a moment. But before we do that, let's go check out this other house here. Is there anything in here? Oh, there's one right there. We'll go ahead and open that guy up. So it looks like we're picking up belt buckles. If we bust open the inventory here, we can click on the schematic and you can see we need a couple of belt buckles, but we also need, uh, looks like a arrowhead and a rope. So we can't really do anything about that schematic yet. But in case you're wondering, does this game have crafting? Yeah, it sort of does. Yes, Shadwin can jump. Thank you, I know that. I played the demo, I remember. There's an arrowhead right there, so we found a part of the grappling hook. It's nice enough to tell us that. That's kind of handy. And we'll just go into this house over here and see what we get in here. Another arrowhead, it looks like. I don't know if the loot in these are randomized or not. That's something I don't really know about. I don't, or I don't know the answer to, rather. Another belt buckle. I don't remember what I got the first time around, so I don't know. I've done some of this before because, you know, obviously you got to play a game a little bit to make sure make sure you like it, to make sure it's good. And um, I like it. It's good. So here we are doing it proper, right? Uh, let's go to this one first. We're going to go over to this house. Then we'll go down to that one. Just out of curiosity, can I? Nope, can't do that. But Shadwin can jump. So let's go and jump. And she can pull herself up. And it's pretty seamless. It's um, This is where there's a little bit of similarity. There's a rope right there. A little bit of similarity to something along the lines of Assassin's Creed or maybe if you prefer Tomb Raider. A little bit. Just a touch. All right, let's bust open this guy. So now we're going to just pull our pieces of stuff onto the schematic. That's how we craft it. And then there we go. Just like that, we have a grappling hook. So we now have a grappling hook on the right mouse button. Can just kind of shoot this guy out and it connects to wood and stuff. But it doesn't attach to walls like that. So um, just FYI. Open you up and grab another arrowhead, it looks like. All right. So here is where we are supposed to really start to learn how to move around. I'm going to go back to this one, even though I know I could have been here earlier and was here earlier and then decided not to. It's all good. So if we aim up there, we are too far away. Can I jump? There we go. And then we can just start swinging around here. And you do actually need to swing forward and backward. So I'm kind of holding my movement key. Nope. Hmm. Let's rewind. Can I, can I attach on you now? There we go. And then can I attach on you? And can I attach on you? All right. There we go. We'll just wind our way up. And we should be able to jump and... Um, nope. Not that one. Oh, I need to... Uh, <laughs> actually, didn't need to pull myself up there. Well, here. Let's just rewind that a little bit and keep going. There we go. You can do some pretty interesting stuff with this game. Oops. Um, I, I, I didn't technically miss that jump. There we go. I just didn't pull myself up high enough to actually make it worthwhile. So, you know, minor details. But you can really kind of have fun with the movement in the game once you get really good at this, which I am not. So, no, nope, still can't. How about that one? I know. I don't technically need to do that. I just, I like using the grappling hook. What can I say? But it does kind of make me think a little bit of something along the lines of uh, Assassin's Creed when you get really good at running around on building tops and kind of jumping from building to building and all that stuff. You can really have a lot of fun with it. And this game is no real exception to that. You can definitely do the same thing once you're suitably efficient and proficient at swinging around. And 
And we'll just connect onto that one. There we go. And pull ourselves up. So a little more of this, and then we'll kind of be there before too long. And that was terrible. So let me let me pull myself up a little bit. That way I can really generate some speed here. And there we go. I really love that you can just stop and then go, okay, let me make sure my aim is good. There we go. I mean, I imagine there's a bit of a challenge in the game to kind of play it without ever slowing time or stopping time. And, uh, you know, at that point, it would play a lot more like Tomb Raider or something along those lines. And I think that'd be a lot of fun to play the game like that. I'm just not that good, so it's not going to happen with me. Not anytime soon. I mean, here's where you're going to see just how bad I am. Just in case it wasn't obvious yet. Okay, so far so good. Actually, that's uh, about the best I've done. Let's jump again. And you can see if I were to actually stop, we have kind of gone over all of this area that we went through as Lily. See, that's the gate right there. We have basically just flown all the way over everything by way of using the rope. And then we'll just jump over the fence because we can. So before we go over there, let's just run around up here. So we can go and kill the guard. That's one way. Or we can find another way to do things. The question becomes, do you want to just murder this guard in front of a little girl? It's such an interesting moral concept in this game that that is actually one of the major themes of the game is morality and what do you do with, you know, do you... Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. I haven't tried doing that yet. I'm glad I tried that now, even though I can't really do anything with it. That was kind of cool. The question is, how do you handle things? Let's go ahead and just climb up here. And we'll just, uh, here, let's, let's do it this way first. Let's knock off a barrel. Okay. Guard's going to go inspect that. And then you know what? Here, let's knock another one off. Don't worry. I scared the guard off. Oh, thank you, Mom. Do you live up in the castle? No. I don't live anywhere, Mom. My mother died this spring. Run away then, little girl. Run and hide. Go away. Shoo! No, thank you. I'd rather come with you, please. You really need to run off now. Where are we going? None of your business, brat. Just be glad I saved you and that you live another day. Please let me come with you. I'm cold and I've nowhere to go. I promise I'll be good. But I'm... not. Just leave. You can't stop me from following you. <sighs> if I bring you along, will you do exactly what I tell you to do? Yes, Mom. And there you have it. And that's how Lily and Shadwin met. And we need to um, get past this guard now, because we actually need to go over there. And you'll see kind of how this game works a little more. It's pretty interesting. I kind of want to push this over... I don't really want to drop it on him. I can drop it on him and kill the guy. I don't really want to do that. You know what? Here, let's just go down. I should be able to get around him at this point. So this is kind of the thing with this game. You get these gates that have dual levers on them. And you need Lily to open one of them. Which is convenient that every single gate in the game pretty much needs two levers and you have Lily with you. But, um, you know, that's just the way it works. Sometimes you need those little goofy ideas to make the game work. And in this case, that's a matter of making the game work. So that's just the way it is. I'm just running around to make sure there's not anything out here because the game does like to hide a little bit of stuff here and there. And uh, it does pay to go a little out of your way to check stuff out. But I'm not seeing anything. And here's where we're going to call it an episode. So join me for another one as we continue to play Shadwin and we try and figure out, are we going to be good? and sneak around all of the guards? Or are we going to be bad and just murder them in front of a little girl? Are we headed towards your home? 
No, we're not going home. Do you know any stories? I love stories. No. Shadwin's not very motherly, is she? No, she's not. So, catch you on the next one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.